what is going on you savages welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another roundup episode and this is going to be a quick extra episode of the roundup keeping you guys up to date on all the latest in regards to the greatest royal rumble event we're going to be talking more potential surprises and more but before we get into it i want to remind you guys that i will be having a watch party for the greatest royal rumble event so if you guys want to interact with me while the show is going on just make sure to turn on those notifications and subscribe to the channel to be up to date as soon as i go live also make sure to follow the twitch channel as soon as the greatest royal rumble start being broadcast on the wwe network i'm gonna be going live and watching it with you guys so stay tuned for tomorrow nonetheless uh, getting into all the latest in regards to the big event there is a couple of important things that i want to cover for you guys uh, so let's get right to it so to start off it has been revealed by brian alvarez from the wrestling Observer live that the actual royal rumble match will take place in the middle of the show instead of at the end this is pretty much a given then that brock lesnar versus roman reigns is gonna be the actual main event the last match on the show which if you think about it it does make sense the greatest royal rumble match itself only awards the winner a trophy so it's not really that much of a big deal on the other hand having brock lesnar and roman reigns as the main event is a good thing because more people are gonna be able to watch it Live while it happens on the wwe network that match won't probably happen until 5 p.m eastern time or like four and a half hours after the show actually begins so it gives people more of a chance to get home from work or get home from school to actually watch it in the network on a very interesting note it is being indicated that the greatest royal rumble will be a big payday for the female division even though they're not at the event so even though they won't be at the event they're actually getting paid for it and i do think that it is a very good move by the wwe just to avoid certain type of criticisms that they might be getting on top of the ones that they are already getting because they're hosting an event where females are not able to compete but as i reported before triple h did defend this wwe choice and he pretty much said that they're not able to make a cultural difference if they're not involved in the country in some type of way so this is just the beginning and moving on to the last report that i got for you guys in regards to this event as pw insider is reporting that two interesting names are in saudi arabia for the greatest royal rumble event to be more specific for the rumble match so pwinsider.com has confirmed that former wwe star sean devery is in saudi arabia he worked full-time with the wwe in 2007 he wrestled but also managed the great Kali. so it should be interesting to see what they're gonna do with him is he wrestling or will he be coming out with the great Kali. the other very interesting name that is in saudi arabia right now and again confirmed by pw insider is former wwe cruiserweight champion hornswoggle i'm pretty sure you guys know who hornswoggle is and i wouldn't be surprised if he would be part of the royal rumble match because it will make for a very good funny moment nonetheless guys that's what i got for you on this extra episode of the roundup if you guys enjoy if you guys found this informative make sure to elbow drop a like on this video as so we said let's try to go for 500 and plus likes subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and turn on those notifications to be fully up to date and of course uh, to not miss tomorrow's watch party that we're gonna be doing we're in the road to 100 000 subscribers i'm going to dig it